Nancy Ruth Owens here, aka The Real Zodiac Killer. It's March the 10th of 2022, approximately 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> to date this, it's very simple. Uh, Putin, Putin has seized Ukraine. Uh, no surprise there. And it's just a, simply a, a question of where is he going to go next. It, uh, <clears throat> is he going to stop there or is he going to keep moving on? So um, the... Videos that I'm seeing come across the board today are dealing with Phil McConnell again and these people They just don't get it and it's so freaking aggravating. He's supposed to be Silenced by a judge and there there are people out there passing on the information um, Passing on his information which makes them a party to what he is not supposed to be doing some of us don't want to hear anything more about Field McConnell. Uh, we don't want him interrupting the true intel. We don't want him telling people who, that his name is Field McConnell when it's really John Potter. We don't want him telling people that he comes from Hawaii when he's really from Clewiston, Florida. Um, and we certainly don't want people passing it on as if, as if they know what the hell they're talking about. That's the kicker. These people don't have a freaking clue. They really don't. So anyway, um, that's real quick proof of life. Um, so I think I had a bit of a challenge today, which was, well, prove it, you know, prove, 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 but, but, but prove what? I mean, you know, uh, Trump has, Trump is under investigation. He has his motives for not uh, sharing intel. I did put out an affidavit and Trump was immediately removed from New York within uh, what was it, like a day or two? But within the week, he was gone. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, to prove John Potter. To, to prove John Potter. Uh, well, first and foremost, Timothy Holmseth was supposedly from Polk County, Minnesota, or whatever, and... Um, I live in Polk County, Florida. Okay, this is where the Zodiac Killer was has been supposedly identified. But they falsely identified him as a man. And it's someone that was a friend of some people that I know. And like John Potter, they like to take credit for things they haven't done, that they have no responsibility for. Were, you know, maybe they were there, but did they orchestrate and mastermind the takedown of, in this particular case with John Potter? Gorbachev, no. No, he didn't. Did, did, did Bush do it? Junior do it? No, he didn't do that. I did that. And, um... So here's this guy in Polk County with cooperation from others saying, well, he's a Zodiac killer. Uh, you know, people come on, put, put two and two together. You talk about your ability to connect the dots and yet you just cannot quite seem to get this one. You know, Timothy Homeseth, Polk County. Zodiac killer, Polk County. You know, uh, Phil McConnell, Polk County. Uh, yeah, of course, Phil McConnell is very good about setting things up. So this is why I suspect that either these events didn't happen in Polk County, which seems like they did. Um, the logical conclusion I have, and the only conclusion I have, and I'm certain of it, is, is, is Phil McConnell got up there, moved up to Polk County, Minnesota, Wisconsin, whatever. It really doesn't matter where the hell he moved to. It was, it's to focus on Polk County. Then he gets this guy, Timothy Holt. Now, is Timothy from Clueston? He might be. I just don't remember him. But he gets this guy in collusion with his the false story of John Bonet. The truth about John Bonet is that John Bonet was ordered to be murdered by Henry County Sheriff's Department, uh, Sermon Dyes Jr., which is Phil McConnell's best friend, okay? Phil McConnell will never get over the fact that his friend is the one behind the killing of John Bonet Ramsey. He's never going to get over it, and he's going to do his damnedest. And this is why I believe that the air, airlines are saying, look, you need to see a psychiatrist. You know, undoubtedly, we, we, we all needed to. You know, the, the things that we saw while in, in South Florida were 
beyond horrendous. We experienced things beyond horrendous. We experienced so much psychological abuse from the Henry County Sheriff's Department and other entities, including Trump, you know, um, that it's just, most people just simply can't even fathom how how bad it was. They're getting it now. I mean, there are a lot of people who, who with my telling of the history, of my history, of my background, along with other people out there, they're, they're, they are the ones who have truly connected the dots. They are the ones who truly know what go, or what's going on. These people, so many of these, these clowns on YouTube just, well, I, you know, I've connected the dot here, here, here. No, you haven't. If you don't even know John Potter's, you know, that Phil McCaudle's real name is John Potter, you haven't even begun to c connect the dots. I am just, I, I got to tell you, I'm just so damn tired of it. I really am. His name is John Potter. He is from Clewiston. He is not from Hawaii. Obama, my brother, is from Clewiston. I am from Clewiston. We didn't grow up in Hawaii. You know, connect those, just, just, just figure out what the man's name is. Just start right there. It's not Phil McConnell. It's John Potter. If you can manage to do that, you might be able to one day manage to, to, to connect the dots. Yeah. So anyway, that's where we're at. We're back into the Phil, Phil, Phil McConnell, the fake Phil McConnell realm of gathering up his people, even though the judge has told him to be gagged. He's gathering up people again. Uh, this this Glow 4 woman on, on YouTube, G-L-O-W-4, uh, apparently he's gathered this woman up and she's passing on intel like she knows what the heck's going on. Uh, you glow i'm gonna yeah you know, i'm gonna address this to you glow you were you know this man has been gagged you know he's not allowed to be um saying anything on youtube and yet here you are an accomplice an accomplice in all of this and you think you know what the hell's going on where where where's your head i mean seriously where's your head you know, you, you need to get over John Potter and his fake stories. G get a get a life. If you can't figure out what this man's name is and where, and where he really comes with, find something else to do. Get a life. Don't be passing on this man's information. It's not your business to be passing it on, despite what a George judge has ordered. Now, I'm not the only one affected by this. There's a woman, uh, an attorney down in South Florida who is affected by this as well. You know, you, you people have got to think about these things. Yeah. We're trying to get the intel out. We're trying to get the true story of what happened to us. We're trying to get the true story of Walsh. We're, we're trying to get the true story of Reagan. We're trying to get the true story of Pablo Escobar. We're trying to get the true story of Gorbachev, of, of, of Galan of John Bonet, of, let's see, who was it? Anyway, um, I don't remember the man's name. He was, he was a preacher, and I'm not, I'm not talking about Winteringham, apparently. Winteringham's, once again, a no-show in all this. He's not, he's not gonna, he's not gonna step up and say, hey, look, Nancy, I know that you were there during this certain event, and that the sheriff was there, at the, or the sheriff's son was there at the time. Um, maybe I can help you at least Get people to understand where the initial events happened, but that's not going to happen either. And, and and so you, people say, well, we'll prove it, prove it. There's nobody stepping up. I mean, there's there's a few, but there's very few people stepping up. And you got to battle all of these clowns who have followed, Phil, you know, John Potter. All these people who have followed John Potter like he is some sort of god. He cannot accept that it was his friend Sermon Dias Jr., Henry County Sheriff, that it was, and when he says, says I'm one step away from Trump, that's literally, you know what, that one is literally the truth. He, he and I, and, um, I, he, a lot of other people, because Trump was with Pablo Escobar in Cluiston, 
you know, we had contact with Trump. We had tr- contract with the contact with the Clintons. We had contract with contacts and contracts with Bush. You know, there, there's that's not a Freudian slip. I mean, you know, it's um, contacts and contracts with with George Bush. So, um, you know. I, 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 get me on one of your shows and let me talk about John Potter. Maybe I can clarify these things so y'all don't spend the next 10 or 20 years um, doing this, you know, if you don't end up getting in trouble to begin with because you are a, an accomplice. Once again, you are an accomplice to what a George judge has ordered you not to do or ordered him not to do, and you're doing it on his behalf. Stupid. Stupid. That's it for me right now. Um, <laughs> stupid. I swear to God, people. Come on. Uh, March, what did I say it was? March the 10th, 2022. Now it's probably about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I am the Zodiac Killer. It is proven in Polk County, Florida. I submitted an affidavit on... Well, I submitted an affidavit. Apparently, they compared the handwriting analysis and said, "Look, you know, um, let's just say they they some people were quite shocked." And when I said, "Look," uh, in my other videos, call up Polk County and ask them, "Do you have handwriting proof of who the real Zodiac killer is?" And not this BS of this guy that died like a year ago. Uh, you know. So, anyway, you want the truth. This is, I am the one to start with because I know the beginning of all of this. I know the end, you know, the, the end of Pablo. I know the end of Galan. I know the end of Gorbachev. I know the end of so many of the, and Putin. All right. What do you, th- yeah, if y'all, if y'all only knew, I swear. Anyway, y'all have a good one.